Okay, so this is just a random read. Whatever comes up, comes out. The Hierophant. Ooh, the Two of Pentacles. So, ooh, geez, the Temperance card. Someone wants someone to make a choice. Could be Sagittarius, could be King of Cups, could be Taurus. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, someone wants, you know, they said this has been long enough. Long enough that you guys have been in this love affair or doing this dance. We need to make something. We need to solidify something. Four of Pentacles. Long enough I've been the other woman. What are you going to do? What action are you going to take Ace of Wands in regards to us coming together? Three of Pentacles in regards to us coming together and actually solidifying this. When is our relationship going to be real? When is it going to change into something else? When are you going to lose that other relationship? When are you going to let it die? The alien, okay, the magician, and the star. Someone is saying, when are you going to, you know, finally walk away from something this relationship that you say is not fulfilling you when are you going to you, you're cold towards the mother of your children this is a woman speaking to a man you say that you love me and you have fallen in love with me the other woman the empress and you're waiting for the, the prime opportunity for us to be together the two of pentacles but I don't have a lot of confidence in this actually turning around five of pentacles and me getting what I want. And uh, I don't feel like it's really going to change. It's really going to shift. You're never going to walk away. Someone is separated from another but still longing to be with them. There could be a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, cancer in particular wanting to reach out wanting to extend olive branch saying that the their stability is elsewhere and they're choosing themselves and putting themselves first maybe even choosing to go back to an old love and an old position someone who they were off and on with they want to apologize offer some gift they want a new chapter to begin with this person. Uh, they want to communicate. Definitely, they're feeling like they want to They're thinking about messaging you, coming to, to you and telling you the truth. But this is a very complex decision for them. They, they're of two minds about it because maybe you block them or you energetically block them. They want a second chance at love with you, but they know that this is somebody who showed their hand too soon to somebody. They didn't play their cards right. They didn't know who they were dealing with. This is someone who has an immature nature about them also, but still wants a connection, still wants a relationship. Is trying to get out of a toxic relationship and move towards newness, move towards starting over, but is feeling trapped, stuck, bound to... A relationship a marriage this person doesn't know if the other person is going to sue them for all the money that they have they don't know the other person's motives this is a person who's trying to strategize and 
have a plan of action in place before they make some permanent decision. Could be a Piscean to separate from the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and go after what it is they want or love. Someone has a family dynamic and they're taking their time before actually moving away from that family dynamic, divorcing. The, the children play a part. Their feelings are still engulfed and tied to that position. Yet there's a lot of drama there. Somebody's trying to wait until a child grows or grows or moves or celebration or graduation. The cards say that's kind of hesitation too before, you know, before making a real decision. They need to go ahead and do that. It's something about a child. They won't move the home or their position. Even when something devastating happens or someone finds out about something devastating happening. They still fight for the opportunity to stay in something while still longing to be with someone else. Giving the message that, oh, it's over. Oh, I'm single. Oh, I want a new start with you. They may even give some truth about what's been going on in their home for a very long time with their children. How something was illuminated to them and how they need to make a plan of action to move forward. Um, and how they are making the choice that is you, the other person, someone that they are without, how they're moving away from that old position. Let's see the timeline in regards to when this is going to happen. It looks like before it does happen, there's a lot of drama. There's someone who is a, has an addiction. Listen to your intuition. There's someone who has an addiction. There's something better. Mm, recovery, maybe for some of you, ask your angels. Communicate clearly. Choose a new direction. No need to worry. The situation will improve within the next few weeks in the near future and wait because abundance is here. Look for a sign. Um, so for some of you this is a situation of somebody's dealing with someone who has an addiction who is codependent who is dependent on them either for money or support or support altogether in every facet of support it's almost as if this person can't do anything on their own uh let's see what the advice is for you for this random reading let's see doing what you're doing um you need to be clear and honest with yourself in regards to how you feel about this person um ask the probing questions so that you can move forward uh be logical be honest also uh be clear in your communication be clear choose your battles wisely There might be conflict with this person because they have a family that they need to put an end to. They are not happy. They need to make a choice, but they're scared. They, they're terrified in regards to leaving some children behind, in regards to leaving, um, leaving the home altogether. Someone is unstable mentally. 
someone threatens to hurt themselves what we have here we have run leave we have a message of I miss you we have closure someone needs that someone is a mother or or the home what it says someone's scared to leave the children with the home in the home because of mental issues these cards do not lie it's like um, what's what is the exact advice for this person who's dealing with this is a tough situation because at one point you want to say just leave but then when you actually know what's going on you're like okay okay uh, hold on don't leave yet uh, let's try to devise a plan of action I didn't know you were dealing with a psycho so let's see uh, what is the advice for the person coming to this reading this random reading be the joker play many faces you know you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be open to starting over to open to um, playing many, wear many hats with this person uh, the friend the lover the researcher the everything almost um, yeah because you are in love with them there may be a new start in love for you also you get what you want nine of cups here um, you get an unexpected somebody comes at you very quickly and unexpectedly this could be a friend this could be the person that you're hoping and wishing for they come coming toward you someone that you're you're in love with someone who's open to love now even because they left something behind there was opposition here resentment and regret but it looks like this person is coming towards you rather quickly. Unexpected money also. Large sum of money. Uh, the two of cups. You get exactly what you want in a person and monetarily. It's almost as if they... Oh. I don't know if someone's going to ask you to hide some money. Put some money away for them. A lot of money cards. Ace of diamond. Large sum of money moving in together engagement four of diamond large sum of money winning the lottery or just a large sum inheritance unexpected money two of cups it something about mutuality something someone comes to you with money seven of pencils good news about or surrounding money or investment something about money and your new boyfriend or new girlfriend they ask for help in their business okay be clear of all business deals okay and what you're doing they may ask you to take some money for them hide some money for them because they don't want the other person involved to know about the money that is up to you that is your own moral compass um i i don't have the answer for that okay um yeah definitely somebody's asking you to take take this money you know not saying that you, you can't spend any of it it's like yeah just take it get it out of my possession or this person will try to take it from me okay that's how someone is coming at you let me get the final advice by, by way of the shells for you let's see what's the advice for the person coming to this reading. Be smart. Run. Leave. Wow. We've got mental issues coming up again. Family. Closure. Great body. Coming up. Forgive. A ring. Father magic oh, really interesting dynamic a lot of people are doing a lot of different things but once you reduce it all down to the simplest form 
Everybody's dealing with the same thing. Uh, division, division of the heart. It seems as if almost every other reading is about a third party or not knowing if you are a third party or someone being divided about a family dynamic and someone outside of their family. Be smart about any decisions that you make within, you know, your person. Someone needs to run. Someone needs to leave. Someone needs to have closure here. Someone is asking you for forgiveness, maybe by way of giving you a ring. Two cards just popped out. Someone's asking for help or is going to receive help, support in their business. Maybe even in a home situation, someone's going to move their business. This could be a king of spades. Someone's going to move. There is help for you. Someone's, you have a business idea. Someone's going to help your business. Could be a male cancer. Could be Gemini, Lib, uh, could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Someone who has not gotten over you. Someone who you could have had a family dynamic with, or you do have a family dynamic with. Someone who is um, still trying to be energetically linked, tied to you. Okay. Someone who thinks about you constantly. Their the thoughts are cyclical. They can't get you off of their mind. Okay, so this is the reading, the random reading. Okay. Um, I hope that this gave somebody some ease of mind. There, there are people out there dealing with all kinds of things. Let me get two cards for, we're going to go in order. Um, two cards for Aries. Four diamond. Large sum of money coming to you, Aries. Wow, four of hearts. Four of four. Um, that money coming to you is going to allow you to change course, shift course, change your, your journey. Okay. Who's next? After Aries is Taurus, right? All right, Taurus. King of Spades. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone who's very direct, very concise, very methodical. This could be your own energy coming up. This could be someone who's always 10 steps ahead of everything. Four of clubs. Something unexpected can happen around this connection. Eight of spades. Some Something gets canceled. There's cancellation here. I don't know if someone's losing a job. Someone's losing. This is also about money here. Someone's losing uh, the cancellation of a loan. Maybe a, a debt gets canceled altogether. Something about cancellation here. Um, who's next? Gemini, right? I'm, I'm hoping I'm going in order. Two cards for Gemini. Two of, two of hearts. Gemini's been getting some really good energy. There's a successful, um, mutually beneficial connection here. That could be love, okay? Uh, let's see. One more card. Wow. With someone... Um, because you shifted course, okay? This is also someone who wears many hats. This is someone who uh, you're getting new love because you decided to walk away and start over. You're getting something that marries you perfectly. And it, it could even be in business too, is what I'm hearing. Okay, Cancer. Give me two cards for Cancer. Three of spades. So there could be do impending divorce, separation due to infidelity, lies, and, and or deceit. Maybe with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Eight of diamond. Um, this could have been a marriage that happened later in life. Uh, or you'll get to marry later again and travel with a partner after a divorce. Okay, you're going to have to put some money out in regards to this divorce. Okay, all right, Leo. Leo got two cards, four spades, and queen of clubs. So you're thinking, taking time out to rest, meditate. You may even take a trip, vacation somewhere. Because you have a big decision to make in regards to your foundation, your home, your children, the mother of, maybe your children. Um, you, you, you're trying to follow your heart here, and your heart is leading you elsewhere. Okay, 
All right, so after Leo, we have Virgo. Nine of Diamond, you have a business idea that's making you restless in your current position. Um, it could be very fruitful for you. Okay. King of Hearts. Um, maybe they're, they'll be help here by way of a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sometimes this is Libra male comes up in love. Maybe someone who adores you can help you cultivate uh, or develop your business or, de or develop something here for you. Or someone is in love with you, but they look at you as very independent. Okay. Um, after Virgo, we have... We have... I, I can't even think. We have Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio. We have Libra. After Virgo, we have Libra. Ooh, two cards came out. Three of diamond, five of spade. So there may be some legal issues. You might be battling. You may be in the battle in regards to some to some group effort. Something may be reversed here. You thought it was going one way, but it's going another. Look out for the reversal or the change. You thought that something was over between another, but it's not, okay? Um, you may do some real heavy verbal battling here. Okay, so Libra and then Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay, King of Clubs and Queen of Diamond. Um, somebody's practical, someone's all about going after their heart's desire here. Um, someone is a working mom, someone is the committed father, he takes care of the kids, but he's also about doing whatever it is he wants to do. This could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini. Uh, okay, good luck with that one. Um, okay, um, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Jack of Diamond, Two of Clubs. So be able to look out for some business deal that may not be on the up and up, or someone is not being truthful around you. It could be a family member. Someone's not trustworthy. Not this is a, someone stealing. You're at a crossroads with them, or you need to be at a crossroads. This person has shifted course with you and how they deal with you because they see that you're at a crossroads. Um, you have not fully committed to this position with them, this relationship. You're in it, but you're not committed to it. And they understand that. So now their demeanor has demeanor has changed. Okay, Capricorn, Ace of Clubs. So you're concerned about your inheritance, where you belong, um, your your health, wealth, your home, your children, what comes next, how to further advance your career so that you can have better home, better health, better wealth here. Hmm. Good good, good energy, Capricorn. Uh, okay, Aquarius, right? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Aquarius. Aquarius, what's going on here? All right. Aquarius is wearing many faces. Aquarius is coming up as the actor in the deck. Whatever you need me to be, I can be. Okay. Uh, also, speaking your own truth in regards to a situation. Moving forward. Moving situations forward. Seven of Cups, you've got many options here. Okay. The door is open. You may even be speaking about how there was some infidelity or there is some infidelity. Um, you may even be speaking about maybe someone else's broken promises. You may be saying, hey, you know, I don't accept that. And if you act like that again, I'm going to have to X you out. 
All right. Come correct or don't come at all. All right, Pisces. Two, okay. Ten of clubs, ace of cups, ace of hearts. Unexpected money, new love, new friendship, new home. So some money brings in uh, newness here. Or there's an usher in of newness. This is moving. Some of you are moving. You found a new home and you're moving. You have to move. You're not going to stay where you are. Um, this might be unexpected money. Unexpected payout for this new home. Yeah. Um, you get what you want though. You may be hesitating before doing this too. You may... Uh, this may completely transform you. You may help someone else out. Friends may be involved. Family. A good friend. A good friend here. All right, Pisces, everybody. Thank you for taking or being a part of the random read. I hope this gave you some energy. I hope that all the love that I've been showing to every sign for the last two days will last you guys for the next five days. Okay. <laughs> Um, take care guys remember you can always visit the website and book your own reading there okay all right bye